Welcome back to Surrey. It's 9 degrees, leaves are falling, the wind is blowing, we're surrounded by green, yellow and brown colours everywhere. So really, what better time to test out the BMW 1 Series convertible? Launched in late 2007, the 1 Series convertible has been the best seller in its class with rivals from Peugeot, Audi, Volkswagen and others. The model we're looking at here is the 120D M Sport. I should point out this is actually the M Sport model, which means this car is actually lower than the standard one, has sports seats and this really really nice big steering wheel. The seats themselves are very very comfortable, they can be adjusted in 12 ways, forwards, backwards, you can tilt the backrest forwards and backwards of course, tilt the actual seat base itself up or down and raise and lower the heights. The side bolsters can be adjusted as well, and you also have this really, really nice thigh extension. Now the interior itself, the build quality is very, very high. I can feel it. Everything feels nice and soft, except for this uh, instrument binnacle here, which is really, really odd. iDrive is what BMW calls this infotainment system, and I think it's by far one of the most intuitive to use on the market. It uses a dial in the center console, surrounded by some shortcut keys. Now interior practicality isn't usually a term you associate with convertibles, but as you can see, it's bearable. However, you will have to sacrifice a cup holder for the iDrive system, and the other cup holder is completely useless. Other than that, the actual design, the actual layout of the car, it's very, very basic and simple. I'm not really a big fan, I mean, there's nothing really exciting about it. The only nice, shiny thing about the interior is this uh, aluminum trim here. So the back seats are actually very, very comfortable. I could sit there for hours and hours and hours, but then again, I am only five foot six and a half. Oh wait, just a second. So the seat is adjusted for my driving position, and he looks reasonably comfortable. Wouldn't you say you're comfortable? Yeah. So uh, how's headroom back there? Uh, my head is touching the roof, so not that good. How's headroom now? A lot better. So here we have a set of luggage, enough for two for a trip to the south of France, and it's all going to be in the back of this convertible. So we have this large roller bag, a smaller roller bag, and this backpack full of goodies. And as long as you have this little cover down, you can still put the roof down. Now the diesels, they came in either 118, 120, or 123D variants. The petrols came in either 118 or 120i variants. And of course you have the 125 naturally unheated straight six and the 135 turbo straight six. The 135 being the most powerful and the 118 being the least powerful. So in the BMW 120D convertible. Um, now, yes, I have changed my clothes and the time is taking me um, to film the outside of the car to the inside of the car. And the season may have changed a bit. It is kind of winter now and it is minus two degrees. Um, yeah, I have been kind of lazy. But anyway, um, back to the driving. So we're driving around in the suburban road and it, it's, you know, it's perfectly livable. Um, it's quiet, it's smooth, the steering is nice and light. Uh, that's because I have the Servotronic steering in this car optioned out, but um, of course this is the M Sport suspension, uh, which means you get the stiffer suspension and it is kind of lower too, so you will feel more bumps around. Um, I, well, but in town you, you won't really notice the difference. I do have to say though that this chunky steering wheel is very very nice to have. Um, it's really just, it's just really really nice to hold on to. Especially when you go through, but we're not doing that right now. But uh, let's, let's go find some, some twisty roads to play on, shall we? Right, so we're on a nice twisty road now. Let's put the transmission into sport mode. And floor it, oh boy. I have the traction control line just flashing. It's like a fireworks display over here. But um, like any typical BMW, of course, this is rear wheel drive. So you have the front wheels free up to do all the steering which leaves you having a lot of fun. I'll admit though, this isn't the, this isn't the quietest cabin I've been in, of course. Um, as you would have seen from my Toyota reviews uh, of the Corolla and the, and the Avalon, these cars are much, much quieter than this is, but this is a soft top, so you, you have to forgive it. But the way you just throw this car into corners just sticks to them. Uh, it just sort of pushes you from the back like a rear-wheel drive car should, to what these cars are all about. But I have to say, you do feel the bumps a lot more with this um, in this M Sport model, um, and it might be a deal breaker to some of you looking to seek, looking for a car with, with comfort and refinement. But um, you know, I'm only 19, so it doesn't really bother me so much. Um, I can live with this. I mean, it, it's not too bumpy. It's not over. 
powering it anyway. Um, but I have to say, this diesel engine, it may be a little bit noisy. Um, the newer engines are certainly quieter. But as soon as you put your foot down, you take off in an instant. It isn't the most economical, although on paper it does say it should do 51 miles per gallon combined. However, I've only been seeing really around 40, and that's motorway driving mostly. Around town, you, you, you wouldn't see anywhere near 30 even, which is a slight shame. But of course, being a convertible uh, version of a coupe, this car is significantly more... Um, it's, sig it's significantly heavier than a coupe version, which is why we lose quite a few RPGs. But you don't really feel all that weight when you're driving it, uh, I have to say, which is something BMW's done really, really well. Now, as long as you're driving at around 20 miles an hour, or of course you're stuck in traffic, it only takes 18 seconds to put the roof down, as we'll see now. So it's minus 2 degrees, everyone is probably staring at me right now, but for the purpose of the review, I will have the roof down. Yeah, the roof is down, um, the deflector is up, as you can tell, my windows are up, and it is still very, very warm in the cabin. Um, I think everyone else seems to disagree, though, because everyone seems to be staring at me, thinking I'm a complete madman, but... I'm really not, I promise you. I am very, very warm. Now the term, a good all-rounder, isn't usually associated with a convertible, but I think the 1 Series has definitely earned it. Not mentioning the fact that it's really, really great to drive. Oh boy. So if you have enjoyed the video, make sure you press the like button down there. Make sure you're also subscribed to watch more of my awesome videos coming up in the future. And please remember not to put anyone taller than this guy in the back, because oh god, no, please!